Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I'm going to be sharing a little bit with you about using um, rainbow color schemes along with repeated images to create quick and easy cards. Today I actually have a very special guest. Let me pan up here. My daughter Hannah will be crafting with us today, and she's going to be making some cards too to show you just how easy it is to use these schemes to create really beautiful cards. I've decided I'm going to start with color scheme number one for my project. Now one of the things I wanted to um, share with you today is how quick and easy you can create a really stunning project just by picking one of these color schemes. What you want to do is pick one stamp or one die that perhaps you haven't used for a while or that you're very excited to try out and then either die cut that die from all of those colors or get all of these inks out to use with the particular stamp you want to use and then start with a white card base and just go to town. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a stamp and um, ink pads using that first color scheme. So I have all of my ink lined up here set beyond basic borders and I've got this one scalloped border stamp that I've pulled out of there that I'm going to use for my project. I'm just going to start with the first color, Orange Zest, from that color scheme, color scheme number one. Ink up my stamp. And I'm going to add this at the top of the card, like that. Take a baby wipe, clean off my stamp. And I'm going to go with Summer Sunrise next. Stamp that just below, like that. Next is simply chartreuse. See, with these types of projects, color, it's all about the color. Once you have a catchy color scheme, you can do really simple designs and they just pop when you use the right colors. Okay, next up is the Hawaiian Shores. And my last color is Hibiscus Burst. I'm going to use one of the sediments from the same set, Beyond Basic Borders, with Smoky Shadow ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the sediment vertically, since all of the stripes on this card are going horizontally. I'm going to add that right here. Now I'm looking at this, you could definitely leave this like this, but I want to add just a bit of pizzazz to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little strip of eighth inch 
score tape along the top of each of these stripes. like this. I love score tape since you can just rip rip the ends off. How's it going over there, Hannah? Good. Hannah's adding the sentiment to her card that she's making with her die cut flowers. Okay, do you want to show us your final card? Is it done or are you still adding stuff to it? Still adding stuff to it. Okay, all right. What I'm going to do is remove the backing for the tape. And I'm just going to sprinkle Prisma Glitter on each of these. Just kind of rub it in a little bit. see that I added just a little bit of uh, iridescent shimmer to each stripe. Hannah's making a second card. This time she stamped flowers. And Hannah, which color scheme did you use on the worksheet? Um, four. Color scheme four. And now she's drawing her stems and her own leaves. And you can see, why don't you show everybody your card, Hannah? You can see what a pretty card that makes with that color scheme. Just picking one stamp to use repeatedly across the card. Do you want to show us your other finished card that you made before? Look at this pretty one. Lots of sparkle. And there's all of her die cut flowers lined up with her sentiment. You did a good job, Hannah. <laughs> I have one more card I'm going to make for you today, and I just wanted to show you another thing you can do when you're trying to incorporate a rainbow color scheme. I'm actually using um, scheme number three. I have a stamp here from Lovely Layers, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little repeating medallion using these colors. So I'm starting with inking this up with Pear Poppy. Just trying to make sure I got all my areas covered here. And I'm going to stamp that. Do a white card base. Clean my stamp, and next, going with the orange zest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp that this on top, but I'm going to turn it just slightly. There, I've got my orange layered on. And next is Summer Sunrise. Do the 
the same thing again. There's the summer sunrise. Next is ripe avocado. And last will be Ocean Tides. And then we'll fill in the last little slot here. And as you can see, that creates a little ram rainbow medallion. To finish off my card, I'm going to use a couple sentiments from Embroidered Blooms. And I'm going to make this a birthday card. Have it say happy birthday. I've got Happy. We use Smoky Shadow. On the other side, I think I'm going to put, actually put the cinnamon over here. So I'm going to put Happy here. And then I'm going to add Birthday. And I'm feeling like the center of the medallion is a bit um, plain. So I'm going to add a little center from Lovely Layers and Smoky Shadow in the middle of the medallion. One last finishing touch is a black rhinestone. Back to the center. And there's my completed card. Okay, Hannah, did you finish your second card? Yes. Okay, why don't you show us? Oh, beautiful. I love how you did the sentiment and all that sparkle. So pretty. We hope you've had fun today and take us up on this challenge to pick one of the rainbow color schemes and a single die or image and repeat it on a simple white card base to create quick and easy beautiful cards. Hannah and I have enjoyed having you today and we look forward to seeing your projects.